So, um, I'm really pumped for today's Chronic Convo. My name is Nitika Chopra, and I am the founder of Chronicon. And I'm excited to talk to all of you. I see a bunch of you just got notified that we're live. I see so many familiar handles, which I'm excited about. And yeah, so we are having a chronic convo today about a few things. One thing is I, as a founder, just wanted to tell you a bunch of updates. I'm really excited to share with you. And I also am gonna take a couple of people towards the end for a little chronic community session. So I'm really excited about that. But for starters, I just wanted to fill y'all in on some of the things that have been happening behind the scenes and some of the ways that you can connect with us um, at Chronicon, which is really exciting. There's a lot of really fun things coming up. So I made my notes in my notebook <laughs> um, and I just like wanted to make sure that I got everything for you. So. One of the ways that I wanted to make sure that you knew how you could connect with us is through our newsletter. Now, I'm not sure, hi, Defiant, I think that's how you say your handle. Um, hi, everybody. Um, and so I wanted to make sure you knew about our newsletter. And I know like so many people have a newsletter and it might not be that big of a deal, but I have to tell you, I have written newsletters for the past 10 years when I was doing all of my stuff with nitikachopra.com and I used to have an online magazine called Bella Life and I've just been doing newsletters for forever. And I have never loved a newsletter that I have done more than the one that we do for Chronicon. And it's not just loving it as someone reading it, but also just creating it. I feel like we put our whole heart and soul into creating the newsletter and we do tons of features every week. So we have this chronic comfort section, which is really great. We share really awesome comforting resources for the chronic illness community. We also do a really great recap of what's happening here on our Chronic Convo series, which is really awesome. So you can kind of see everything. Oh, thanks, Jared, you're so sweet. Um, it's intended well, I appreciate you. Um, but I just like love creating the newsletter. I get really geeked out about it. I get really into it. So I wanted to let you know about it. And if you haven't already subscribed, there is a link in our bio that you can check out after this Chronic Convo and you can sign up. We only send out the newsletters. Right now, it's only Wednesday mornings, once a week. Even when we start moving into possibly having partners and doing stuff with partners, we wanna make sure that that inbox interaction is super safe and sacred for you. So we haven't accepted any partnerships for our newsletter so far. Everything is completely free and you know not being sponsored by anyone. But when that does happen in the future, because we want to make sure that we can support what we're doing and continue to grow, I promise to be always be very, very transparent with you and always just make sure that you know every single step of the way what's going on with that. So it'll never feel spammy or intrusive. That's our hope. So please sign up for that once this is over, if you haven't already. And I also want to just invite all of you who are watching if you are watching this and you feel like you have an amazing offering that is easy for us to share, right? So there's some sort of link or image or place that we can send people. I would love to hear from you because the newsletter and also the chronic convos, these are for you and about you. So it's not, I mean, I'm the founder. It's not about me and it's not about one person. It's about our chronic community. So I wanna make sure that you know you can DM us at any time. We are handling a lot and we're a very small team, so it might take us a little bit to get back to you, but just know we read every single message, we read every single email, we read every single DM, every single comment, we are on it, even if it takes us a little bit of time to respond. So please know you can share it with us. If you're coming out with something that you feel like will actually benefit the chronic illness community and the chronic con community, I want to know about it. So please DM us and let us know. Please email us and let us know so you can be a part of our chronic comfort in our newsletter or the Chronicles, which is our whole newsletter, what it's called. So I wanted to let you know about that. Really excited about that. I cannot wait to see all of you who are going to join our newsletter. And then I have a really huge announcement for all of you, actually. 
which I feel like with there's so much going on right now, I don't even really know how to process it. So I'm just gonna tell you about it and then we can process it together. We've been nominated for an award and it's our first award and shout out to Lauren Friedman, who I believe is the person who nominated us. And it's for We Go Health. And we have a link in our bio. When you click the link in our bio, you'll see a bunch of different resources there. So you can sign up for a newsletter and you can also endorse us, is what they call it, for our We Go Health Award. And that allows us to be able to get closer to the possibility of us winning our first award. And I know that there's so much going on right now that is so massive and challenging and all of the above. But I felt like it was important for us to share about this because there is so much going on and I know that the chronic illness community and those who have a chronic illness are also dealing with a tremendous amount. So the thought for me of like Chronicon winning something that gives us more exposure, that helps our voices and our stories be told that much more so that we get that many more people to know about what we're doing, that to me is incredibly exciting and encouraging in this moment. So please go to the link in our bio once this is over, sign up for our newsletter, and also, thank you so much, Jill, um, and also sign up and endorse us. It takes 30 seconds. You put your name, your first name, your last name, and your email, and you're done. Like, and push endorse, and you're done. So it's really, really easy. So please, please, please do that, and please share. Thank you, Dr. Sylvie. Um, and please share about it. Please let people know. Um, I'm starting now just to let people know, so I need to start doing that too, but let's do it together. And the nominations, I think, are open until the end of July. So I really hope that we can do this together and hopefully that we can win so that more people can know about us. It'd be so, so great. Um, okay, so those are the two things that I want you to do with the link in our bio. And I wanna make sure that you know about them. And I also wanna tell you one more thing and then I'm gonna invite a couple people to join me on here for our chronic community. But I'm really glad that I'm getting some time with you one-on-one -on -one because I just kind of missed you all this week. I was thinking about who I wanted to have as our um, speaker this week and as our chronic convo guest. And I was like, I love so many people. There's so many great people that we could talk to. And I also just kind of missed you. And I don't know, maybe it's like Mercury and retrograde or something that's making me all emo, but it was, <laughs> it was real. And so I was thinking about it and I was like, I just want to be with them. And so here we are. So the last thing I want to tell you about is that we started working with a freelance designer and illustrator who I am really honored and thrilled to be working with. And, you know, I wanted to sort of give us a little bit of time to get to know each other and also work together for a few months. She started, I believe her first month was April. So we connected in March, like right when the pandemic hit. And then she started in April. And her name is Clarice Cho. And her Instagram is at Clarice Apple. But I'm going to make sure all of this information is in our stories after I go um, get off of live so that you can follow her. And I really wanted you to know about Clarice because First of all, I've just been, I think it's really important to give credit to the person that is artistically making so much of our content look so beautiful. If you've noticed, we have all of these branded, you know, um, even like our newsletter, like the whole template Clarice did and we worked on it together and she created it and designed the whole thing. And even like that resources guide that we did, that was like a gift, like she did that. We also featured some of her work that she had done for her own Instagram. Um, I think it was the poster that was like ally is a verb. And so she did one in colors for Chronicon and we posted it on our feed. And I really wanted to give her a shout out because I just want to acknowledge that working with someone who is as talented and as wonderful as she has been and continues to be has been really helpful for me. And it has really allowed me to be able to take all of this passion and energy that I have for Chronicon, because it is 
limitless at times and my brain is just like swirling around with all these different ideas that I have for us and to like hand it over and say okay this is like what I want to do what can we do how can we do it let's work together um, it's been really wonderful so she's freelancing for us at the moment and it's really been such a great experience and I just wanted to give her a shout out I wanted to also acknowledge that I'm getting some support which I feel is really helpful and um, yeah and so when you DM us or when you comment it's gonna be one of us that are responding to you so I'm really 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 thrilled for that and I want you to follow her because she's just awesome and I yeah I'm just really really grateful for her so that is what I wanted to share um, in my notebook that I have for you um, so just to quickly recap before I invite the next or the first guest on here um, we have a couple things going on in our bio with a link in our bio we have our newsletter sign up which is so juicy and filled with love and not spammy and only goes out once a week and I hope you sign up for it and I hope you tell people to sign up for it and I hope that it adds some much needed love and comfort into your inbox because that was our that's our intention and then we also have our we go health award which we were nominated for and I really would love to take that home for us so that we can get more exposure to this community and we can get more exposure to your stories and your experiences and your brands and everything that you're doing. And, um, oh, thank you. And yeah, and then we have Clarice Cho who is helping us with everything with Chronicon and all of our digital and all of the visuals that we've been having um, you know, go up over the last couple of months. I've been really, really fortunate to work with Clarice and I'm super excited to introduce you all to her. So make sure you follow her. I'm going to tag her. Hi, sweetheart. Um, long time no see. It's true. Um, and I'm going to tag her in our stories, uh, later. So that's what I wanted to share. Thank you all for listening to that. And then now I'm going to invite, Trisha was the first one and I'm going to, Trisha, are you ready? All right. I'm excited to meet you, Trisha. Hi. Hey. How, How are you? How are you? Trisha, right? Yeah, yes, Trisha. Awesome. It's so lovely to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. So um, where are you right now? And tell I, us why you're a part of the Chronicon community. Sure, sure. Uh, I, I, I uh, live in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Okay. And um, I have Crohn's disease. I've had it for almost 10 years now. And I found out about you through Ingrid Nielsen, who I'm a longtime U viewer of hers. And when she posted about you, I was like, yes, no, this is for me. I need, I need, I need to be in the community. So. Oh, that makes me so happy. I will tell Ingrid that you said hi. Okay. Um, <laughs> that we got to meet because that makes me so happy. She's one of my absolute favorite people. Mm -hmm. um, that's amazing. So I'm so glad that you're here. And how have you been handling the pandemic with Crohn's? Have you been able to adapt to your self-care routine? Or has it been challenging with anything that you might have to do for your health? Yeah, it's 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 been challenging. Um, whenever I go out to you know get you know, essentials and stuff like that, and uh, I'm quarantining, I'm by myself. Uh, I can't see my family because high risk, right? Yeah. And um, you know, I've been I've been working from home. My my employer is great. They set everyone home. There's no one no one in any office right right now. That's great. Um, uh, but it's, it's, it's been like a little bit frustrating to see people not take this pandemic as seriously. That's probably been like the biggest pain point because it's like, it's like, okay, like, you, you know, you know, a certain person may not be affected by it, but it doesn't mean that there's not someone out there who is very high risk. You could have very um, mm -hmm. intense reactions and potentially even fatal. So, yeah. No, I really appreciate you saying that because that's something that I was thinking about before I jumped on and I was like thinking about all the different things that I wanted to talk about. Mm -hmm. And that has been like the hardest thing for me, especially the last couple of weeks as people yeah. just start to, you know, go out. And I don't want to go as far as like shaming people for doing right. that because I get like that's your experience. But it's, I don't know if you've experienced this, so I'd love to hear your take, but I've been finding like, 
it's like another le like heavy lift in terms of advocacy. I feel like I have to sort of like what I feel like sometimes when I was starting like a new diet or a new way of eating because of my health. And I had to be like, oh, I can't eat that or I can't go there. Or, I can't mm -hmm. go to this restaurant. And it just felt like, oh my God, I hate, I don't want to have to be that person. It's like, right. I want to just go and do whatever too. Right. You know? And so I've been feeling really just kind of disappointed at how much of a lift that has been for me to have to tell so many people that I love, like, no, I can't, sorry, your child was just at the park all day. Like, I can't, I can't now hang out with you guys, you know? So how yeah. has that been communicating that with your, with your loved ones? Yeah, a lot of my loved ones, even my family, they, they, they still, after all these years, don't understand. And, and so my, my, my cousin's having a, a wedding shower next week. And she said, Hey, do you want to come? And I said, I'm sorry, I, 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 I can't go. Uh, you know, the cases are surging and stuff. And, and, they, and, and, and she wants to have it like, like, you know, in, indoors in a restaurant and invite all of her friends, and all of her family. And I said, I said, there's no way that this can happen. And there's no way that I can go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And it's hard that like, you have to be the one, mm -hmm. right? Like I, that's exactly how I've been feeling. I'm just like, I don't want to have to be the one exactly that's saying like, sorry, again, like, I can't do this again. Like, I can't, you know, it's, it's a burden that I really wish we didn't have to carry. So yeah, I really appreciate you sharing that and, and telling us about that. Because I think a lot of people, whether they're on live or they're watching, the replay, I think, mm -hmm. can resonate with that. And I really appreciate that perspective. Right. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining yeah, us. Yeah, thank you for having me. Is there anything you. else that you want to share or before you go? Or, or uh, Well, one thing I wanted, I wanted to share, this is something that I'm hoping to get off the ground this year, or maybe sure. over next year, is I'm, I'm, uh, I, I, I work in finance, and I'm getting my certified financial planning designation and one of my goals is to help people of the chronic illness community plan for their future plan for future medical expenses things that might be help, helping down the road so yeah that's awesome we definitely need that um and there's so much i think that was actually something i looked into a lot with the, the chronicon live back in mm -hmm. october of 2019 i was trying to find resources for us to plan for our finances because I was just like between health insurance and having to pay for surgeries or medications yes. or specialty doctors or you know that's just a whole other thing on top of all of the stuff that we have to pay for as just human beings yes. so I really appreciate that and I will make sure that we tag you when we uh, post this live, it's always like a week after we go live. Um, so we'll post it on our IGTV next week and I'll make sure that we tag you. Great. In the All right. Yeah. You're so welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. All right, sweetheart. Have a great rest of the day. Okay. Bye. All right. Bye. Okay. I know we had someone else. Siobhan. Okay. I think that's how you say your name. I'm going to say hello to you, Siobhan. You're getting called into the circle. How are you doing? Hi. Oh, are you there? Oh, it says that it's like connecting. Hi. Hi. Are you there? Hi. Yeah, I'm you me. It's strange. <laughs> How are you doing, sweetheart? It's great to see you and meet you. I'm good. You just took me by surprise. Yeah, oh. I only found out about you like a like a week ago. So I, I watched you live one night then, and I just found it again today. So, well, it's great to have you on here. I think you requested actually to join, but I don't know if you knew that you did that because sometimes there's so much going on on these Instagram things. Yeah, and it's not always clear. It is. Yeah. No. Well, tell us. You know, you can you can be brief if you want, if you're in the middle of something, but tell us why you're a part of the Chronicon community. So I have a, a extremely rare disease called Suvac syndrome. What There's is it called? Can you say it one more time so we can make sure? Less than five, it. It's called Suzak syndrome. Suzak. And there's less than 500 people in the world that have it. And um, I've had this. I got diagnosed about seven years ago with it. But I had five years of being undiagnosed and 
um, um, and NIH is the uh, ones that track me and keep me safe. So I'm very mm -hmm. lucky to get in with them. Mm -hmm. And there's another patient who has it who I happen to who got diagnosed the same time as me at NIH. So there's this incredibly rare disease. And this, I know someone who has it as well. We're both like, I want to meet the other person. Yeah. Even though technically totally. you're not supposed to meet like the other patients. Mm. We were like, oh, we need to meet. So. Well, now we have FaceTime and Zoom being so popular. So maybe at least something virtual, if not in real life, if that's not directed by the Well, doctor. so we, we, we got to know each other and we're good friends now, so. That's, That's lovely. Funny. That's yeah. really great. Well, I'm so honored to get to meet you and, and talk to you and just learn a little bit more about you. Is is the way you pronounce your name Siobhan? Is that how you pronounce it? Yes. Okay. Exactly. Perfect. Okay. Awesome. That's what I thought. Well, I'm so glad that you joined us here and I hope that you're finding ways to take care of yourself during this really intense time especially with all that you have going on and yeah i'll have to look up that condition i've never heard of it before which is really it's, uh, it's got it's got a lot of similarities to ms okay. like a lot of the symptoms are similar to that mm -hmm. and so i had like walking difficulties that before they diagnosed what i had and things like that but the actual suzax has a triad of symptoms that cognitive hearing and vision mm -hmm. i don't have the hearing or vision right now because it that only comes when you get a flare-up. Thankfully, I don't have those very often. Mm -hmm. so. Wow. Well, I uh, I know a lot of people that have MS, so I can just yeah. imagine an even you know, more rare form of that or something similar to that that's even more rare. That's really, that's got to be a lot to handle. So I'm, I'm so honored to meet you and, yeah, inspired by you. So I find out about you guys from Harper's Bureau. Oh, Harper, Harper. Yeah, 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 totally. And so She's I listen to her Made Visible podcast all the time, yes. so I enjoy that. And her sitting yes, just Harper's started last week, awesome. so, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, the internet's breaking up a little bit, so I'm going to... I'm going to let you run, but thank you so much for being on our Chronic Convo and for being a part of this and for sharing your journey. And I wish that the internet would cooperate so I didn't have to like shut this <laughs> down before I can actually see you. But it was really lovely to meet you, Siobhan. Thank you. All right. Nice to meet you too. Okay. Sorry, the internet is just being wacky. Otherwise, I would keep you on. <laughs> like I get randomly tomorrow to check out why I have to say that. So. Oh yeah, it's hard to hear you, but lots of love, and hopefully our paths will cross again soon. Yes, I'm sure they will. All right, I'm gonna say yes. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Oh, it's so nice to meet her. And I love how we just roll with it, with the internet and all the things that are happening with these chronic convos. Oh my goodness. Um, okay, so I see that there are a bunch of people that I recognize on here. And you know what that means. That means that I totally could just pick you. I don't have anybody else in the queue. Does anyone else want to jump on with me and say hi? Let me know, because I would love to talk to someone else. I think we have time for one more person and I would absolutely love to chat with one of you. So let me know. Um, and for those of you who are just joining, we talked a lot about just all the different offerings we have right now. Ooh, I just got a, I just got a request. Erin Coles. Can't wait. This is going to be great. Can't wait to meet you. Okay, Erin Coles is connecting. Hi. Hi. How are you, sweetheart? <laughs> Good. How are you? It's so lovely to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Oh, I love your earrings. Can I say oh. what's up? Oh. Thank you. I can't remember the company they're from, but they're, it's a woman-owned company. I love supporting yes. women-owned companies. So. <laughs> Me, too. These are from India, so I don't know. Amazing. Don't they're know. gorgeous. I don't know who, who owns them, but... I love my jewelry, so I love that. <laughs> exactly, same. Um, so Erin is your name, correct? Yes. So tell us, Erin, how are you a part of the Chronicon community? How, what brings you here? Yeah, um, it's actually like part of my story and what my chronic illness is, so I'll kind of like tell you that and how I came across it. Um, 
But essentially, I was diagnosed with undifferentiated connective tissue disease um, a number of years ago, about seven years ago, um, which is essentially like an undefined sort of lesser form of lupus. Um, and so I had a lot of the same symptoms as somebody who has lupus. And I dealt with that for years and years. I changed my diet. I became vegan. I started trying to exercise and just like be as healthy as I possibly could. Um, and I started also like having this experience where I was getting like rashes all over and I was still having some like joint and muscle issues and whatnot. So I went back to the doctor, um, actually at the very top of this year before the whole pandemic hit. Yeah. Um, and I found out that like the antibodies that would show that I had this other autoimmune disease no longer showed up. Um, yeah. but they ran a biopsy and found out that I have psoriatic arthritis. Mm. So Me too. I that yes and that's how i found you oh. is how this happened is that as soon as i found out i had a different autoimmune disease mm -hmm. i was like okay well now i have to like restart my whole like search of like how to manage this since it's different and like what exactly i need to do um so i started just like searching hashtags for psoriatic arthritis yeah. and that's how i found you oh, wow. um, so yeah that's that's what's going on on my end that's so incredible that that's how you found me i love that and sylvan is saying that or sylvina i don't know how to say your first name darling but i'm i'm reading your comment <laughs> Her sister has it as well. Um, so we're, we got a whole crew going on over here. Yep. <laughs> um, but I really appreciate that story. And actually, like, the part of that where, you know, your diagnosis changes. It was, like, hard for you to get your diagnosis in the first place. Like, all these layers that I think oh, yeah. just do not know are even a thing. They just assume, like, once you tell them what you have, like, oh, you might have just gone to the doctor and just gotten a a form and said, this is what you have. And like, now everything's figured out. And oh my gosh, if only that were true, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. And autoimmune in general, I think yeah. it's just so complicated. And so I, so many people with autoimmune conditions end up having more or it ends up shifting. So it's just like a very interesting world to live in where it takes long to get diagnosed. And then once you do, it could just change. So it's like, it's crazy, <sighs> but yeah, and also, like, even even if your diagnosis doesn't change, something that I've noticed a lot, and especially during the pandemic, I found that my diagnosis hasn't changed, at least not that I know of, but, um, like, the way that I care for myself and the way that, you know, I have to take medication and, like, the way that that is even working or not working or whatever, it's just, it's so layered and... Oh, yeah. It, yeah, and, and it's also, there's so much, like, I don't know about you, but there's so much shame that can come with that. I don't know if you've ever experienced that, but I know for me, a lot of times when I'm, like, banging my head up against the wall, trying to do the thing that I have always done or have done for so long. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I'm just like, wait a second. Why isn't kale agreeing with me now? Or, you know, like, all yeah. I can eat. Like, what are you talking about? That's like, so now true. I can't eat that. Have you experienced that? A little bit, yeah. Um, yeah. Especially because I knew that having like an anti-inflammatory diet would help with my symptoms. So I definitely have, through the years and through a change in my diagnosis, like noticed a difference in like what makes me feel good. And sometimes it's different. Sometimes, sometimes something that I felt good having for the longest time no longer works. And then I kind of have to shift it. So yeah, you're so right about that. Totally. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of like a Russian roulette situation. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I'm like, I know last summer cherries really did not agree with me, but I'm just going to try. I still want to try. <laughs> right? I feel like we have to try. We have yes. to try. Uh, yes. I, I appreciate that you understand my, oh, yeah. what I'm feeling. And I think that's 100%. what all, yeah, I think that's what all of this is about. Um, and earlier I was talking to, I think it was Trisha about, you know, how she and I were talking around, like, there's this sort of burden that we're carrying around being an extra advocate for ourselves through this pandemic when people are just going about their lives in a way that is suitable for them, which is fine, but yeah. not at all works for us. Have you experienced that at all as well? Yeah. Uh, yeah, a little bit. Um, actually like 
little story here. So my husband and I am based out of New York City, um, which was the epicenter of the pandemic for the very beginning. And now it's doing really well. Yeah. Um, but we own a wedding band together. So we it's a wedding band collective. So we provide music for weddings, mostly party bands of like eight to 12 pieces. Mm -hmm. um, so we've had not only most of our things have been totally shifted, canceled or postponed over the past several months. Yeah. Um, but as weddings are starting to happen in a smaller way mm -hmm. recently, we've had to sort of like shift and and do smaller groups. Mm -hmm. So what was interesting is we did our first wedding since the pandemic on June 27th, um, which was kind of crazy. Uh, they downsized from like about 200 people to 60 um, and they did what they could. They had like a tiny little dance floor just for the special dances, their first dance and all those uh, wonderful things. And we started playing just like background music and people started getting up and dancing and the weirdest thing to us is that all of us in the bandstand, we had our masks on, all of the vendors, the caterers, the photographer, videographer, everyone had masks on. None of the guests had masks on, zero. And like, yeah. that was very weird because I, I kind of knew going into it, like no one really knows what they're doing. Like all, this is our first wedding for everyone since the pandemic. And of course the couple's first wedding. Yeah. Um, so we were all kind of doing our best, but. I, I didn't feel nervous until that happened. And then all of a sudden I was like, wow, now I'm like really nervous because people come up, they'll ask for requests, they start drinking, they'll start yelling in your face and you're like, I'm wearing a mask, but like, that's not gonna protect me totally. So yeah. it was interesting um, because, you know, I'm not upset about it. It was a couple of weeks ago. Now I'm still feeling fine, thank goodness. And <laughs> thank um, all of that, but it's it was interesting to see, like I have no control over those situations. Yeah. And that's the case for everybody right now is when you need to go out and like yeah. get groceries or whatever, like you can only control your own actions. And, and it's a little bit scary to know that you're kind of like, there's something you gotta do, whether it's to sustain your lifestyle or to like get your food, um, totally. but you can't, yeah, you just can't control what other people are gonna do. It. No, it's so true. And, and Siobhan said that at least you were keeping yourself safe, which is great and I agree. Um, yeah, I, I think I really resonate with, you know, that conversation around just like this lack of control. I feel like that's really what I feel. I don't want to control other people, but I know that I can't guarantee yeah. that your standards of health are going to be up to code of what mine are. And yeah, it's been really, it's been really hard. I feel like it was easier almost when everybody was just indoors and no <laughs> one was going out. And yeah. You know what I mean? Although it's so extreme and it's hard in other ways for mental health and other things, but that was almost easier than this like in between phase where I'm just like, mm, I know you said <laughs> that you were taking precautions, but I was actually looking at your social media and I don't agree with the way that you were handling this and I will not be coming over. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so, it's just a whole thing. Um, but I really appreciate your perspective and I really appreciate you joining us and being a part of our chronic convo. Of course. And, and yeah, and, and someone's saying in the comments, please save this live. So Instagram has been super weird about I like lives lately, but what we do every week is we go live and then we download the live and we post it officially a week later as like a part of our content for the next week. So this will go up and you will be tagged and you will know about it when it's up. And I'm oh, awesome. excited to share. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us, sweetheart. It was lovely to meet thank you. you. It was look lovely forward. to meet you too. Yeah. And I look forward to being on this journey with you. Yes. And thank you for all that you do. It's, it's so helpful to have somebody out there that understands. So thank okay. you. That means a lot to me. Thank you of so course. much. Have a great <laughs> rest you. of the day. You too. Bye. Bye. All right. So that was so lovely. Um, okay. So I'm going to hop off in a moment. I think there is a question. Um, thanks so much. I can't read it because it's really small and I don't have my glasses on. That's the truth. That is the truth right there. I, all I saw was thanks so much. So <laughs> whoever wrote the comment, thank you. You're welcome and thank you for the comment. Um, so that was so awesome. I just wanted to do like a mini chronic community 
chronic convo for this week and have a few people on because I had all of those updates. Um, at the beginning of the live, which were just super important to me to make sure you all knew. Um, thanks, Jill. That's really sweet. And so, Sil Sylvina or Sylvan, you need to send me a voice note and let me know how to say your name. Sylvina, I think is how you say it. Uh, yeah, I'm so sorry. Laughing emoji. I see you and I, can, I can't read it because I don't have my glasses on. I don't know where they are. So, thank you for your kind comment and... I'll have to send me a DM with what you said. Um, so for those of you who are just tuning on, really quick recap um, of what I shared in the beginning. And this will all be tagged and put in stories and all the things so you don't have to worry too much about writing anything down. But make sure you check our stories after this. Um, we'll be putting up these resources. So make sure you are on our newsletter list. That is really, that's become such a sacred safe, comforting space for us. And it's like something that I absolutely love curating is our newsletter that goes out every Wednesday. We talk about chronic comfort. We talk about chronic community stuff. We highlight people. And just to also plug that if you want to be a part of our chronic convo series, if you want to be featured in our newsletter, please DM us, email us. It's contact at chronicon.co. Um, it's in our bio as well and stuff like that. So just just reach out like I it, Me and my tiny tiny team. We are the ones that are looking at everything that you're sending We want you to win. We want you to feel seen. We want you to feel heard. We are obsessed with you. So <laughs> That's basically the truth. So please 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 reach out to us and let us know when you've got stuff going on that you want us to feature in our newsletter which goes out every Wednesday. Did I say that already? goes out every Wednesday. Okay, so make sure you do that. And great, Patty and Ricky, please uh, reach out. I would love that. Hi, Max. Um, that would be awesome. And then I also shared that we are up for our WeGo Health Award for Best in Show. Please click the link in our bio and endorse us. It takes less than 30 seconds probably you have to put your first name your last name and your email and click the endorse button it is really quick really easy and it would make a huge difference we've never won an award before we are a very small and new but mighty company <laughs> so please please endorse us it would make a huge difference and help us get our our conversations out there so that we can share more about you and what you're going through as well and then last but not least i shared at the beginning that we have an incredible person who is freelancing with us and working with us on all things Chronicon. She's an illustrator and she's a graphic designer and she's been working on all of our social media with us. And she also built the template for our newsletter that's so beautiful and is just creating some really beautiful graphics and, and we're just working really, really well together. And I'm just really excited about her and I'm also very grateful for her support because Having true chronic illnesses myself and trying to get everything out that I want to get out about Chronicon and managing my health is definitely a challenge sometimes, but having her on my side and on our team has been really helpful. So follow Clarice Cho. She will uh, be sure to share in the stories and make sure you can you know, follow her easily and all of that. So I think that's everything. I loved talking to all of you today. This is so awesome. Trisha, Erin, and Siobhan, you are all so beautiful. I loved hearing about your stories. And we'll be sure to make this available on our IGTV next week. Have a beautiful rest of your day. I love you all so much. Bye.